Inside China's $1 billion space launch project in Africa, the key to the future of space travel. This small country, Djibouti, located next to Somalia and Eritrea, is making a big step toward the future by investing in a big project. The agreement specifies that both parties will contribute $1 billion to the construction of a sizable space launch facility, and China will invest in and construct its first space launch facility in Africa. The project will cover an area of 10 square kilometers and include three rocket test beds and seven satellite launch pads. In today's episode, we'll be discussing Djibouti's latest project, a space launch facility that has been signed with China. Firstly, let's understand why this project is significant for Djibouti. This country has a population of just over 1 million people, and the economy is heavily dependent on its strategic location. Djibouti is located at the entrance to the Red Sea, which makes it an ideal location for trade, logistics, and military bases. Djibouti is also a transit point for travelers and goods heading to and from the neighboring countries of Ethiopia, Somalia, and Eritrea. The new space launch facility will diversify Djibouti's economy and provide more opportunities for the country. Secondly, let's explore China's involvement in this project. China is a country that has been rapidly expanding its space program in recent years. They have already launched their first space station and have plans to land on the Moon and Mars. The project in Djibouti is another step in China's efforts to expand its presence in space. China has been investing in Africa for several years and sees it as a crucial market for its economic growth. The Space Launch Facility will not only benefit Djibouti, but will also provide an opportunity for China to expand its space program and influence in Africa. Now about the technical details of the Space Launch Facility. The project will cover an area of 10 square kilometers and will include three rocket test beds and seven satellite launch pads. This facility will allow for the launching of rockets and satellites into orbit. The rocket test beds will be used to test rockets before launching them into space, ensuring their safety and efficiency. The seven satellite launch pads will allow for the launching of satellites for communication, scientific research, and weather monitoring. The establishment of a satellite launch station in Djibouti is a highly astute choice, taking into consideration the political atmosphere, environmental conditions, and international connections. Djibouti's domestic policies are relatively stable, and the nation's social security system is in good shape. Both of these aspects of the country's economy are doing well. In addition, Djibouti's location is extremely advantageous, linking the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, as well as the Arabian Peninsula and the illustrious Strait of Mandeb, which are located in close proximity to the country. Furthermore, Djibouti and China have improved their economic cooperation over the past several years, and China has also supported Djibouti in developing a society that is moderately prosperous. China provided assistance in various projects such as the construction of a port in Djibouti, industrial parks for the production of salt and chemicals, and several other projects. China was even responsible for efficiently constructing sections of the Yaji Railway. Djibouti has become a participant in the Belt and Road Initiative and has developed a constructive, collaborative engagement with China in various sectors. The Djibouti port, launched in very beautiful natural surroundings, is a multifunctional port that not only facilitates the transport of cargo, but also has the potential to become a hub for trade and investment. The port's location is near major international shipping lanes connecting Asia, Africa, and Europe. This strategic location makes Djibouti an important player in the regional and international trade and investment landscape. The Chinese investment in the Space Launch Facility in Djibouti is part of China's ambitious space program, which includes plans to explore the Moon, Mars, and other planets. China possesses the world's best infrastructure, and the country is also developing the aircraft industry at the second fastest rate. However, constructing such a sizable space rocket launch facility successfully will take at least five years, and China will face several challenges. According to some American aerospace experts, the aerospace and electronic manufacturing service businesses are participating in the drive to construct a satellite launch station. The most important jobs are satellite launch, satellite communication, satellite measurement and control, and satellite manufacture. The production of satellites is by far the most significant of them, 
since it requires the establishment of complex supply networks and links to markets all over the world. Due to the lack of sufficient infrastructure in Djibouti, China is making other contributions to the project, such as assisting in the construction of the highways and the port that are located at the site of the project. Enterprises from both Djibouti and China will collaborate on the management of this project, and the duration of their working relationship might reach 30 years. The launch conditions will improve proportionately to the satellite's proximity to the equator, which in turn will put somewhat less pressure on the launch base. Djibouti will be able to enhance its space capabilities once the space launch site has been successfully established and will not only be of assistance to China in the completion of the space launch mission, but will also have a positive impact on the country's economy and development. The project will also provide Djibouti with a significant economic boost as it will create jobs and stimulate the local economy. The new space launch facility will require a significant amount of skilled labor, creating employment opportunities for locals. Additionally, the project is expected to stimulate economic growth in the country, as the infrastructure required for the project will improve the country's overall transportation and communications networks. The project is also expected to have a positive impact on the scientific community, as it will provide an opportunity for researchers to study and observe space from Africa. This new facility will offer a unique vantage point for studying the cosmos, providing scientists with the ability to observe the universe from a different perspective. The new space launch facility is not without its controversies, however. Some have raised concerns over China's growing influence in Africa, arguing that the facility could be used for military purposes. Others have also expressed concern over China's human rights record, raising questions over the use of forced labor in the construction of the facility. Despite these concerns, the project remains on track, and the facility is expected to be completed in the coming years. The Space Launch Facility in Djibouti will provide China with a valuable location for launching satellites into orbit, as well as strengthen its ties with Africa. The project will also provide Djibouti with a significant economic boost, creating jobs and stimulating the local economy. Overall, the new Space Launch Facility in Djibouti has the potential to be a game-changer for the region providing valuable benefits for both China and Djibouti. Over the past few years, China has played an increasingly significant role in the development of Djibouti. China has also supported Djibouti in developing a society that is moderately prosperous. This assistance was provided by China through the construction of various infrastructure projects, such as the port in Djibouti and industrial parks for the production of salt and chemicals, among other projects. China was even responsible for efficiently constructing sections of the Yaji Railway. Djibouti has become a participant in China's Belt and Road Initiative and has developed a constructive collaborative engagement with China in a number of sectors. The port of Djibouti, which is used for a variety of functions and has the most extensive infrastructure in the country, is located in very beautiful natural surroundings. This is the third contributing component to the multifunctional port of Doral which not only facilitates the transport of cargo, but also has the capacity to supply satellites with the resources they require. The most important thing to note is that Djibouti is situated quite close to the equator, but its proximity is not exactly the same as that of Indonesia. It is far more convenient to visit than a great number of other countries throughout the world. As a consequence of this, establishing a space launch site in Djibouti is favorable not only for the launches of rockets but also for the savings of rocket fuel, which can result in an improvement in launch speed. When satellites are launched from their launch point, it may be possible to economize on the amount of orbital fuel used. In addition, the climate of Djibouti may be described as savanna. Furthermore, the bulk of Djibouti's territory is either desert or semi-arid, with very little precipitation. This makes it a great location for viewing space launches. If the plan to construct a space launch site in Djibouti is carried out successfully, then Africa would be home to the continent's very first space launch station. This would do away with the necessity of launching African satellites from facilities located on other continents. On the other hand, a great number of Western nations have established space launch facilities on this enormous African continent. For instance, France established a station in Algeria in 1948. However, the Space Launch Facility was closed down in 1967 due to a number of problems including the use of obsolete technology. 
Additionally, between the years 1977 and 1978, Germany made an effort to construct a launch pad in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. However, because of political and financial problems, this space launch facility was forced to completely cease operations. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.